Hey gang, this is Leela here from the Comic Connection with this week's comic book reviews. First up, we've got Trinity Number no. 1 from DC Comics. This is their new weekly comic book based around, as you can see from the front, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Uh, in this one, they all meet in their secret identity forums, basically Bruce, Clark, and Diana, to discuss a dream that they've all been sharing that's kind of prophetic and may ultimately change their lives. Uh, it's about an entity deep in space trying to escape. It's really interesting and cool to see where this is going to go, the whole concept of this book being to explain why these three heroes have been the ultimate heroes in the DC Universe. Um, after the main story, there's a backup story called In the Morals to Come, and it's, um, it's tied into the main story, um, but it's sort of like the mirror side, um, sort of maybe the three villains that are going to be part of the picture. Definitely worth picking up. I'm really excited to see where this series goes. Next up, we've got Ultimate Origins number one of five. This is from Marvel. Uh, basically, the concept of this book is there's a secret. It's all connected. So in this book, we follow the origins of Cap, Nick Fury, and Wolverine, and we see how they all might be tied together. Uh, and then there's also appearances by Hulk and uh, Spidey, which are really awesome. Uh, I'm really interested to see how they tie all these secret histories together and reveal new things about the origins that we've known forever. Uh, but so far, it was a pretty good read, although the art was sort of disappointing. Next up, we've got Secret Invasion number three. In this one, the invasion is in full swing, the scrolls are attacking, and it's looking bad for everyone, and a horrifying secret is revealed to Tony, and oh my god, I sort of saw this coming. But, it was still really good to know that I was right. So pick this one up, it is an awesome read. And last but not least, we've got Dark Tower, The Long Road Home, number four of five. We're coming near to the end of this series. And in this one, the members of the quartet are finally reunited with Sh uh, Shimi, just in the nick of time, and Roland comes face to face with the Eater of Worlds, this guy on the front. It is really cool, the art is awesome, the story is great. If you're not reading this book, you really should be. Hey folks, Jim here with another comic book review. This week I'm starting off with another gift from Udon, Star Project Chiro 1 through 2. In this book, Unyo accidentally burns down Nan Lee's house, and she has to pay him back by becoming a pop star. But not just any pop star, a male pop star. Um, <laughs> this is a fantastically funny book. If you're a fan of manhwa or manga, you're going to love this. It's just fantastically written and fantastically drawn. So pick up Star Project Chiro 1 through 2 from Udon now. Next up, Buffy number 15. It's the final battle as the Slayers face off against the Japanese vampires and Don versus Mechadon. Um, this is the final issue in the Wolves at the Gate series, and it's a really good finale. Um, if you're not a fan of Buffy, pick this up. It's a great read. And last but not least, Transformers Reign of Starscream number two. In this issue, Starscream retrieves Frenzy's body from Sector 7 and needs the information obtained within to start his plans. Um, another great issue by Alex Milne. Art, beautiful story, not so great. But if you're a Transformers fan, pick it up.